So here we have the SCFM to ACFM calculator. Uh, we use this a lot to convert our standard specify flows to actual flows that we're going to read off of our instruments in the field. Um, here in this example, I'll, I'll walk you through the basic inputs. We have our flow, of course, specified here. Uh, the static pressure, in this case, negative three inches. Um, seven degrees Fahrenheit, temperature of the air coming in. Um, we have here 100 feet specified as the elevation. Of course, you can change all this to whatever situation you're dealing with. And a duct diameter of six inches. And then down here, we also have a D50 particle size of the, the material that's in the air and a material density for that. Now, you can run this without using the D50 or the material density or with it to determine the velocity, the minimum velocity that you need to carry the material in the pipe. Um, so once you fill all these out, you simply hit calculate and it'll spit out exactly what you're looking for.